Hi everybody, it's Allison Williams, law firm mentor. Today is Tuesday, June 19th, and I wanted to uh, drop a quick tip about financial reports because this came up recently in a Facebook group that I'm in, and someone asked the question, how often do you pull a balance sheet? And so there are a lot of financial planners and financial advisors out there that help law firm owners uh, to manage their money and to understand where things are going. But what I think is um, somewhat ironic is that when someone is seeking out questions about, uh, or asking questions rather, about what types of financial reports they should pull, um, the knee-jerk thought is to give an answer. And so there are several reports, uh, about six of them actually, that uh, it's, it's recommended that you know how to read and do something with. But um, on the issue of whether or not someone should pull a balance sheet, while uh, lots of people were giving answers, oh, I pull mine monthly, I pull mine quarterly, I pull mine weekly, um, one thing that came to my mind that I didn't really explore with the group was, why are you pulling the report? What are you going to do with the information? So a balance sheet provides uh, a lot of different information about your assets and your liabilities and ultimate, ultimately at the end uh, or through the, the various categories on the balance sheet, they're supposed to balance. <laughs> but if you don't know what you're doing with that information, it probably isn't going to give you much uh, by way of assistance. So people sometimes will hide out in data, especially lawyers. Lawyers love data. They love pulling information and getting as much as possible, but they don't often know what to do with that information. And so one of the things that I noted to this particular person is that a profit and loss statement would probably give you more immediate data that you would need uh, to make changes, whether you pull it weekly or monthly. Um, I look at my P&L uh, every couple of weeks, uh, and we have a bookkeeper offsite that actually updates uh, the information in our QuickBooks so that when I pull a report, it's reasonably up to date. And that's the report that is, is um, most valuable to me in my business, not suggesting that that is the report that will be most valuable to you in your business, but I do think it's more valuable uh, than a profit and loss, or pardon me, than a balance sheet for most law firm owners. But um, the real value uh, of knowing what's in these reports is understanding how to read them and when you need them for different purposes. So I don't know that most small law firm owners are going to be highly reliant on a balance sheet. Uh, but regardless, before you decide which financial reports that you should be pulling and how frequently, you really should be getting sound financial advice from an accountant uh, hopefully a management accountant, somebody that is guiding your decisions, not somebody who retrospectively looks back and tells you what you did right or wrong or what your money is now going to cost you in taxes, but somebody who's actually along the road with you as you are uh, deciding what to do with your, um, with your money. So it's important to understand financial reports, but do keep in context that you shouldn't be pulling them just to say you pulled them. You really need to understand them, and that's where you get your most value. So uh, today is Tuesday, uh, June 19th. I'm Allison Williams. Have a great day.